Steers. Ron Gartenheyer has to be absolutely delighted with what he got from his team on a second consecutive night against the St. Louis Cardinals team that had been rolling, at least to a degree. The postgame thoughts of the skipper to Johnny Kane and others brought to us by Line and Kugels. With the 68 team, and we all had a chance to talk to some of the guys, and, but how special, just as a baseball guy, to be able to look eye to eye with a lot of these guys that, that you know, paved the way. Yeah, I, I got a chance to shake, you know, most of their hands, and uh, that was really special. That's a special moment for, you know, Detroit here. Uh, that World Series meant a lot, obviously. Uh, some of the speeches talked about a lot of things that happened, were going on at that time, but you know what... Uh, is a passion here, always has been a passion, and that's one of the big ones at 68 Team. So it was fun to see the guys out here and get a chance to say hello to them. And uh, for all of us, and all, my guys really enjoyed it being in the dugout watching that ceremony. I know you can't really worry about everything that's around you. You just got to worry about between the lines. But considering you guys walk off the Cardinals on such a special weekend and back-to-back -back days, I mean, I, how good is it to kind of reward those lifelong Tigers fans that came out to watch? Well, yes. I mean, I'm sure, you know, that was, you know, a lot of excitement. Um, the big home run they hit to tie the ball game up. And, you know, we come back. Uh, um, but like I said, these Cardinals over there, they're in a pennant race. And, uh, you know, this, you can tell how tense it is for them over there. And we're getting a piece of it from the other side that we wouldn't get if we weren't playing teams that were in this finish race. So our guys are pretty fired up in the dugout, and they're getting after it pretty good. And uh, they've been doing that all summer long. But there's, a, there's definitely a different emotion going on right now. Did that strategy play out like you, not the wild pitch part of it, but getting those runners in scoring position with the bunt? Has that worked out as perfectly as you wanted with, with Victor up against no shift? Well, that's that's what we talked about. Do we do it or let him swing? And you know what? It just came down. We get the guy to third base, and then anything can happen from there. And, and obviously, the craziest thing happened a wild pitch. But um, yeah, we just said, get that. If they'll walk Nicky, we knew that was going to happen. And we'll take Victor. He's been one of our hottest hitters and our veteran hitter. And we'll take our chance with Vic. When you went to get Boyd, it looked like there was a conversation. Does he, did he earn another T-shirt? Honestly, it could be. Yeah, you know what? That's a good point. I, I definitely will have that one on there, too. <laughs> he said I only made one mistake. <laughs> That's a good... And you're right. That's probably another Boydism T-shirt. Why don't we just add it to the ones we've already got? That was pretty good, though. That's why I started laughing. <laughs> he pitched his tail up. That was one of the better performances I've seen from him all year long. And, you know, he pitched great. And, you know what, we were hoping that he'd go nine. I was really hoping that we'd have a chance, even if he had 100 pitches, to let him go nine to give up to Homer. There goes a the shutout. So you just don't want him to lose the ball game there. You know, with Shane, uh, I think he misses with the cutter there with Ozuna. I mean, you know how talented of a hitter he is, but wh where's your confidence level right now with uh, Shane? Shane's fine. We, I mean, the play at first base, really, we catch the ball and we bobbled it trying to feed feed him, you know, and that, that started the inning right there. So, you know, that's, you know, uh, a deuce. He made a nice, great diving play, but he, you know, just kind of fumbled the ball coming up. It should have been an out at first base, and we wouldn't have been in that situation. It didn't turn out that way, but he hung a slider there. Uh, and in that situation, you got to keep the ball down or away from that guy. We know what he can do, and he did it. So he made a bad pitch and uh, and ended up going in the seats. But honestly, we put him in that situation by not making a defensive play. How good a play was was Mikey's when he robbed the home run earlier, and how how close did you get a good chance to see the home run? How close he was to making he that wasn't play? Wasn't as close on the home run. It was back there, looked like probably three or four yards passing, but definitely that was a great play on the one that he brought back. So you know he's been playing well, and uh, you know you know good for him. We need him. And, you know these like I said, these are big ball games. Those guys in over there are battling their butts off to you know try to stay in this race and try to get in the playoffs. So it, it means a lot. Our team is you know kind of joining in the fun here and the crowd was electric a lot of people from both teams and it was electric out there tonight so really exciting stuff obviously he's running on three two but still how much of a play is that for right reyes to score from first on that bloop well yeah he you know he's got speed and the ball goes down in that corner and he can fly i mean he can absolutely fly when he gets going around the base pass so he's playing really good baseball uh, you know, picking us up, Jones. He's got a little bit of sore shoulder. Should be probably back out there tomorrow. But he's he's playing really good baseball, putting some swings on it, has some good at bats. And what more can you ask? One one more about the '68 celebration. I mean, do you, do you get a feeling how much it still means to those guys, the member of those teams? Oh that, my goodness! Yeah. yeah, just talking with them. You know, that was that's you know you'll never ever forget that stuff. I mean, I've been through one World Series with the Twins. I'll never ever forget. Remember the whole thing, how it was, how it went down, and. You know, and, and you just never forget those things. And like I said, those guys are really proud. 
uh, and it's really cool to sit and talk with them about it. And they're, they're proud of this team, which meant a lot to me. They all said they really enjoy watching these young guys play and how hard we play, and that means everything in the world to me because I'm proud of them also. Uh, Toledo last night. Any announcements? That's all that. No, no, no announcements yet. We'll make all those tomorrow. Thanks, Cody. Thank you, Ryan.